In this video we're going to be looking at basic recording and editing of audio in the application Audacity. So let's start by where do you get Audacity from. Now if you go to our website and click under applications and then scroll down you'll see an option editing audio and then editing audio with Audacity. So this gives you instructions on how you install Audacity. Here you can see what it looks like in Fedora. If we were to go into our software center in Ubuntu, software center window comes up. And then from here you can just type in the phrase Audacity. And here it is. We can just click on that. As you can see, I've got it installed. If you hadn't got it installed here, you would have an install button. And it would just be a case of clicking on that button to install it and then waiting for it to complete. So once you've got Audacity installed, how do you run it? So normally we go to the Dash Home if you're using Ubuntu. You can see it there already in my uh, favorites because I've used it previously. If you haven't used it, all you need to do is type in part of the string here. As you can see, I've typed in AUD and here is my icon here. So I'll click on that to select it and bring up Audacity. And here we are faced with the default Audacity window. So what we can do first is just do a simple recording. So let me just click on the record button. Hello, can you hear me? This is a test. And then you click on the stop button. And if we play it back, <laughs> somewhat, somewhat distorted. As you can see, quite a bit of noise there. So we might want to go into our volume setting here and adjust our sound settings down so that our microphone is a little bit less sensitive. This is the output volume. I need to click on the input and just adjust that down. And we can just do a quick test there. And if we're happy with it, we can just delete what we've recorded here. And let's click on the record icon to record the thing again. Can you hear this? This is a test recording. Then when we're finished, we hit the stop button. And we can hit the play button then to listen back to it. Again, can you hear this? This is a test recording. As you can see, the volume is a little lower than that time. So that is basic recording. All you need to do is use the record button to start and the stop button when you're completed. In addition, if you get to a point where you need to pause the recording, you can use the pause button and then just click it again to continue recording. Okay, so I think what we'll do at this point is just load in example audio file and show you how to edit it. So I'm going to click on this one here, audacityexample.aup, which is a project that I recorded earlier. I'm just going to rewind it and play it for you so you can hear some of the problems in the audio track. In this example, we will be setting up uh, something or other. Okay, so you can hear it's rather ponderous with various audio problems in here. So I think the most obvious one is if we take the scroll bar here and move across, you can see this rather large area. I think if I select it, if I click in this area and move across, I think this is a rather long silence with an um in the middle and if I click on the play icon here it'll just play the selected area so let's see if this is the area that we want to edit uh, yes so that's the area where I paused in the middle and couldn't think of what to say so having selected this area all I need to do to remove it is hit the delete key Okay, so you can see that area has now gone. So if we just take the cursor back in time slightly and play that again, something or other. you can hear that we have actually removed that particular problem. Now, while we're here, you can hear this rather audible P sound, a pup sound from the end of my up here. So let's just play that one for you again. Up, up. So I find that pup bit of the up rather intrusive so what I'm going to do is just select that and by the way you can use the control key to zoom in and out of the audio track so I'm going to use control 1 to zoom in I can use control 2 to go to kind of medium resolution or I can use control 3 to zoom out so we can hear now if I play that again that's the put sound and I want to make that a little bit less intrusive so having selected that area I'm going to go up to the effects menu and I'm going to pick the fade in option okay I know parameters for this so it'll just apply a general fade across that area so if I play it again now you can hear it's just quietened down that p sound so it's not quite so intrusive so I'm going to use my control 3 now to zoom out a bit 
press the rewind button to go back to the beginning and replay the edited track for you. In this example, we will be setting up something or other. So immediately that sounds better towards the end of the track, but we have a couple of other problems here. The first being that the initial in is a rather elongated, ponderous in. introduction to the track. So we want to actually shorten that down to make it a little bit more natural. So having selected the area that we want to edit, what I'm going to do is go back up to the effect menu and this time I'm going to choose something called change tempo. So this option allows you to change the tempo of the selected portion of the audio by a percentage amount. So I'm going to type in 125. You can also put in decimal places if you require but it's not mandatory. So I'm going to click on the OK button to apply it. As you can see, it applied the effect, compressed it down just to the selected area. So if I just play that in isolation, in. you can see it's just shortened that in. So again, let's see if there are any other problems in this track. In this example, we will be set. So, okay, there's quite a little bit of a long drawn out we will. So let's see if we can find it. Is it this part here? We. That's it. We. There's a very long we there. So what I'm going to do is go up here again to the effect menu and again I'm going to choose the change tempo but this time I am just going to apply 100% shortening so I'm going to shorten it by a half and again I'm going to click on OK to apply it you see the track has shortened a little bit we will be, we will be set. so you can hear there that we've actually shortened that we from a we to a we so if you go back to the beginning, hopefully the track will sound a little bit more natural. In this example, we will be setting up something or other. So there we have it, our edited track. So once we're happy with that, we can go up to the file menu and save it off. So if we use the save or save as options, it will actually save the audio data in Audacity's internal format. And what that will allow us to do is to reload it back into Audacity and change it at any future time. So I'm going to call it Audacity Example Edited, click the OK, and we've saved it here. You can see that the name of the track has changed and when we finally finished with the track we don't want to edit it anymore and we perhaps want to import it into a different application such as Caden Live if we're making a video such as this we can click on one of the export option now you can see here there is an option to export just a selection so I can actually select a subsection of my audio and export selection and it will do that for us in this case I'm going to export the whole thing so I'm going to click on the export option it will bring you up a dialog box here you can put in the desired name you want and of course navigate to the correct directory and you can pick the format in which you want to export the file Say we want to do it in MP3 format, I can click on MP3, OK, change my title accordingly and click on the Save button, and I can put in various tags and things if I want. If I don't, I can just click on the OK button, and it will do it for me. And that's really all there is to editing audio in Audacity. Thanks for watching.